As a teacher, strong communication skills are essential in order to articulate ideas, manage classrooms, and connect with students, parents, colleagues, and administrators. Today, we are going to explore different types of communication and strategies for making the most out of your network. Let's get started. Communication skills are paramount for teachers to have success in their roles. As educators, it is important to be able to form connections with students, parents, peers, and all parties involved in the learning process. In addition, it is important to be able to create a comfortable atmosphere in which each individual feels respected and appreciated. This presentation will explore the various communication skills that are essential for successful teaching. Various strategies to build strong relationships with students, parents, colleagues, and administrators will be discussed as well. By the conclusion of this presentation, attendees will have an enhanced comprehension of how effective communication can foster excellence in teachers. Verbal communication plays an important role in teacher-student relationships, as it helps facilitate learning and enables students to reach their full potential. To further improve communication skills, teachers can practice active listening and use positive language. Active listening requires focusing on what is being said and responding accordingly. Additionally, using positive language when addressing students can encourage them to take risks, such as trying novel approaches. Rather than chastising mistakes, positive language reinforces learning opportunities, for example, by substituting, that's wrong, with, let's try it another way. Nonverbal communication is a powerful tool for teachers to connect effectively with their students. Up to 93% of our communication is nonverbal, such as body language, facial expressions and tone of voice, often having more impact than our words. Using nonverbal cues consciously in the classroom can create a positive atmosphere and build relationships with students. These cues include maintaining eye contact, using appropriate facial expressions and gestures for emphasis. When interacting with parents, nonverbal cues such as keeping an open posture and using a friendly tone of voice are important. With colleagues and administrators, nonverbal cues such as active listening and nodding can help to establish trust and form meaningful professional relationships. Communication with students is essential for creating a positive learning environment. Listening to them actively, using clear language, avoiding technical terms and incorporating humor and storytelling can aid us in engaging in meaningful conversations with them. Taking the time to build positive relationships with our students can help them to optimize their learning experience. Communication is essential to forming positive relationships with parents. To begin the school year, it is important to keep the parents updated on their students' progress and to provide them with chances for parent-teacher conferences. As well, it is necessary to give unblocked paths for parents to communicate their questions and worries. When necessary, actively hear out their opinions and show empathy and comprehension for their views. All of this will help craft an encouraging learning environment for the students and strengthen parent involvement in their child's education. Strong professional relationships and collaboration with colleagues and administrators are essential for creating a supportive and productive environment in any workplace. Open and honest communication should be prioritized, active listening to different perspectives should be practiced, and compromise should be taken into account when needed. Setting clear expectations and goals for any project can help all those involved stay on the same page. Taking the time to get to know colleagues and administrators personally can build trust and encourage collaboration. 